Hey all you peeps and followers, it is I, Lee Hightower, and welcome to another exciting edition of Oktoberfest. <laughs> I didn't really have this intro planned out and everything like that, but yeah, we are going to do another PlayStation video, and this time around, we're going to do both Wii and Nintendo GameCube, and I'm playing this on actual Wii hardware. Why? Because as you all know, or you don't know, my precious GameCube died in uh, a couple of months back last year so yeah I am without the original GameCube but don't worry the Wii is the best backup plan to use for GameCube games sadly not Game Boy ga player games but GameCube and Nintendo Wii so what I'm going to do is I am going to play a game on the Nintendo GameCube and uh, I'm going to do about 20 minutes of it. So I hope you will all enjoy. But I have to get the game first. Yeah. The game that's inside the Wii right now is not the game that I'm going to play. Just letting you know. But yeah. Anyway, give me a minute, peeps. And I will be back momentarily. This one's going to be good. And it's suitable for uh, Oktoberfest. So yeah. This is just a... Uh, like Steven plays first 20 okay but just give me a minute I'll be right back peeps okay I've got the game and it's installed into the Wii As soon as gameplay starts, I'm going to uh, mute the game and go from there. And I'll also start my timer for the first 20 minutes, but here we go. The game we're playing is... Ninja. Luigi's Mansion. The Nintendo GameCube's first launch title <laughs> and I was lucky to come across this game way back then especially because uh, I just happened to be uh, GameCube game shopping one day and uh, I happened to come across it along with Skies of Arcadia Legends for my birthday so this was a this was a lucky find I played this game originally back then, but I did not get the best ending, sadly. But regardless though, even though I didn't get the best ending, I still enjoyed this game, and for a launch title for the GameCube, it was still great. This was good. And it got three sequels if I'm right. Dark Moon, which is Luigi's Mansion 2, and Luigi's Mansion 3, which I have on the Nintendo Switch. And uh, while I'm on the subject, would you guys consider watching me do a Let's Play of Luigi's Mansion 3, even though it wouldn't be for Oktoberfest? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. But for now, we're going to get started on this game. I'm going to mute my microphone and... Uh, I'm gonna go on from here. So, let's have some fun with Luigi.
<laughs> Sorry everybody, I guess I should uh, do some voice acting while I'm doing this and everything. I apologize for the no commentary. <laughs> but anyway, you won this contest in a- You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. So you believe the mansion actually exists then? Strange. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so. And I'll tell you... That mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I get a look at you, I just recalled. A guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, went into the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? Uh-oh, that's Mario. Huh? What? That guy was your brother? Oh no! That's horrible! He won't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Lu brother Luigi. Alright. Change the control settings on the pause screen or options menu. But here we have our usual. Move. Move the control stick. And da da da, move, move with Luigi, change the direction Luigi traces, push the B button to turn up the flashlight, da da da, check your inventory, check your map, ch search with the Game Boy Horror, or uh, search, uh, examine a door, blah blah. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call this, G I call it, this genius, the Poltergeist 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things that are rip. Use the R button to vacuum and change and the C stick to change your direction. No matter how strong you who think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. So you better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is only this is the only thing we fear or something to that effect. Ahem. Well how about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like darkness and they avoid the light. So if you hit them with a flash uh, flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. Then it's vacuuming time. When you see your chance, hold down the R button and tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. You'll learn more that way. Hey, then, just listening to me yap about it. Remember, as soon as a ghost heart, as soon as you see a ghost heart, that's your chance to vacuum them up. 
while vacuuming tilt the control stick in the opposite direction to bring them in. When that surprise ghost heart appears, vacuum it with the R button and the control stick. Tilt the control stick in the direction and opposite the ghost. Yes, you already told me this already. <laughs> you have to get close as you can before flashing the light. Surprise them with the light when they get close, pow pow! The more, the better. Got it? Hey kid, shape up! You can't go looking for your brother the way you're carrying on. There, here they come! <laughs> Woo! Catching ghosts means using the flashlight and the poltergeist 3000 as a team. You get me, young fella? That'll do! Well, how many did you get? Wow, 10 ghosts! Positively dazzling, Luigi! I'd say you're ready to look for your brother now. Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. How about a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. Hmm. Off we go. And here is the gallery. This is where I believe you would find the ghost to, uh... Uh, this is where the ghosts are displayed. Mm. But we don't have any ghosts right now. They haven't been captured. I designed the Game Boy Horror as a communications terminal. It has all sorts of functions. For example, you can press the Z button to see a list of the items you've picked up. Give it a try after you get some coins. Of course, you'll also be able to see portrait ghosts there once you've captured some. You can only use the Y button to display a map of the mansion. The color will dis will display w the display will color the rooms as you visit. Check out the map if if you ever get lost. Got all that? And now that that's done, we're going to the mansion. Start this game properly. Well, here we go. It's game time! Oh! A toad! Woohoo! Where did you go, Mario? Wah! Wah! Huh? Luigi? It's Luigi! You finally made it! Oh joy! Thank goodness! Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when... He heard that you were, uh, ha ha ha, mansion, and he never returned. Then, when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts, and I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little, and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, please, you have to f help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Leave it to me. Thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. I wish I could help and do something to help you. Oh wait, I've got it! At least let me do this! And when you find a toad, toad, they will help you save the game! So that's nice! Thanks, toad! Talk to me for any help, uh, help any time. Alrighty.
But you know something? I'm going to change the control uh, setup. Hmm. All right. And so it begins. Locked. Ooh, money, money, money. Always, always look for money. You never know what you're gonna get. Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love the dark, and now they'll get you. Blue! Now you're in for it. Blur her! Just like little red cat before you. Maybe you'll wander lost in the darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark little man? Are you, huh? They had there. Here they come. Mario. Ooh, darn. Messed up. Okay. Mario. Oop, I'm pushing the wrong button. And the hearts are health. Always pick up health because you never know what's gonna happen. But yeah, the game couldn't be any more easier than this. And after you capture all the goats, the room lights up. Simple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes chests will pop up and you get a key. Pretty simple. And we're just gonna suck up more money. Look around, you never know. I also like how Luigi whistles uh, the theme to the mansion, but also at the same time he calls for Mario whenever you push the certain buttons. <laughs> okay. Ooh, shoot. Uh, you gotta be close to the ghosts in order to capture them. Huh? 
Anything here? Yep! Yeah, pushing the Z button lets you see what items you sucked in and see the portrait ghost that you've uh, captured. And capturing the portrait ghost is not easy. Like he said, you have to tilt the control stick in the opposite direction in order to capture the ghost, which can be really problematic. Ugh. But regardless of that and blah blah this, Luigi's Mansion is fun. I enjoy this game immensely. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Next one should pop up. Up oh, right behind me. And we have the green variations of the ghosts. These suckers will throw around garbage at you. The purple ones have a little bit more health, but yeah. Sorry, my uh, phone went off, but I'm going to go a few more minutes with this commentary, but yeah. There we go! <laughs> Got the other key! Open up the door to the... Uh, okay, back at the entrance. Yeah. Anyway, let's see. Wrong button. If we use the Game Boy Horror on a mirror. We'll get warped back to the entrance. This is a good way to get back to uh, the beginning of the mansion and everything. Thanks, Toad. We're gonna save our game right here. I'm gonna stop right here. This was a alright PlayStation. I didn't do as much, but yeah, I thought I'd show you uh, the first 20 minutes of uh, Luigi's Mansion. So uh, I'll give you the rest of my commentary later on on this. Without a shadow of a doubt, the first launch title for GameCube was, dare I say, a smash success. And screw all the naysayers that would say anything negative about this game because Luigi's Mansion is peak Luigi and peak gameplay. Seriously. Although it gets a little slippery, this is still a fun game. I don't care what anyone says. It's great. 
and I'm glad to have picked up a copy of it. Hell, I would be more happy if I could play the second Luigi's Mansion game. I played Luigi's Mansion 3, and I beat it a couple of months back. But, <sighs> I wish I had played this, especially when I first got a GameCube back then in 2006. Because I definitely would have had a field day with this game, seriously. Heck, I want to give Luigi's Mansion 2 Dark Moon a try more than anything. And that's saying a lot. And I was lucky to have beaten it one year ago. But, uh, would you peeps be interested in watching me do a Let's Play of it? I know some coming Johnny and a few others have done a play of it. Let's play, let's play of it. But... I want to give you my honest opinions of it and everything. And, uh, I've beaten Luigi's Mansion 3, so I would love to give that a try. Especially for my channel. And I need to use my Nintendo Switch more. Especially in regards to, um, uh, gameplay videos and everything like that. But what do you guys think? I'm sorry I did not play all the way up to the first boss. I really apologize for that, but it was just the first 20 minutes and everything. But, yeah... And I did go over uh, uh, go over the limit a little, but who knows? Maybe for another video, maybe I'll give uh, that a try and everything like that. But what were your honest thoughts about Luigi's Mansion, especially back then when you first played it? Did you think Luigi's Mansion was a good game? Was it a mad game? Or was it something interesting? Because we're basically playing Luigi as a Ghostbuster, using the Poltergeist 3000 and capturing ghosts. Leave your thoughts thoughts and comments in the comments section below and uh while i'm on the subject of luigi's mansion i do want to say this in regards to luigi and amy's mansion by kitty rose that project is not dead unless of course we say it is it is not canceled it's just on an indefinite postponement because things have been a little rocky and we don't have all the necessary materials to do it so yeah Unless we say it's canceled and everything, it's not over. It's just gonna take a while, peeps. And I'm sorry. Uh, but I think I've been, I think I've talked long enough. I'm gonna end this video right here. This is Leo Hightower. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Oktoberfest. And I hope to see all you beautiful sons of guns again next time. If you liked what you see, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. Especially because it's Oktoberfest and everything. And click on the bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos. I'm going to try and put out more stuff for Oktoberfest. But I also want to put out uh, a couple of videos I've been doing. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace out. Stay tuned for more Spooktacular specials.